Back on the show is Matt Roman, who's had a pretty damn good 2016. He's a, a welterweight prospect. Uh, Matt, how's it going, man? I'm going pretty well. How are you doing? Hey, doing very well. Appreciate you joining me here uh, during a busy holiday season. I know it's uh, sometimes going to be a little bit hectic, but uh, let's talk about you. Uh, you're, you're supposed to have this fight coming up, KTFO and ACC joint show back on December 16th. You're supposed to be fighting Austin Wolfson. That fight does not end up happening. What was the reason? Um, well, the last fight I had, I was throwing so many leg kicks that I broke my ankle. Oh, shoot. So I, had, I had to recover with my ankle. And then about two or three weeks close to the fight, coming towards the fight, I was training and I got too comfortable. So I threw my low kick and it just hit the right spot. And I was like, yeah, you know, I can't fight. Like I, I, my, I went to the doctor and they were like, you, you really, why, I don't know why you're even training. It's like, well, I like to fight. So I was either going in there injured and might possibly break it again or, you know, just taking the time off and coming back stronger. So I decided to do that. Is this the first time you've had sort of a big injury like this uh, heading into a fight? Um, no, actually, my my second fight, I had a shoulder issue, where if where if I would get hit in a certain spot in my face, my shoulder and my arm would go dead. So then I fought through that like a week before the fight, it like cleared up, and I was like, all right, that's, that's good. Damn. What's the what's the uh, what's the recovery time looking like on this injury? They, they said about three months for me to be, like, completely dedicated to the training. So right now I'm just taking it easy. I'll, I train once in a while, but I try not to throw my low kicks anymore. Right, yeah, obviously, because I don't, don't want to make that even worse than it is. Um, how do you plan to sort of keep sane during that time? I mean, you're a guy, you know, I know loves to compete. Um, is it just a matter of just being in the gym all the time, kind of learning stuff? Are you a guy that watches fights? Like, how do you sort of keep yourself occupied? I like, I like teaching. I, I teach and I watch. So... Like uh, on YouTube, I'm to, I mean, on Instagram, I'm like subscribe to all these, you know, leg lock peoples or like Eddie Bravo. And I just watch what they do grappling wise. And then I'll do it on the mat or I'll watch people grapple and I'll kind of critique, critique, uh, critique what they do. I'm like tongue tied now. Looking back at this year, 2016, um, you know, like I said, very, very good year. I mean, it sucks about the injury and everything, but uh, what would you say you've improved on the most this year as far as, uh, you know, your fighting career? My stand-up. Definitely my stand-up. Like, if, if you watch my first fight compared to my last couple of fights, you can tell the definite difference in the, the confidence I have with my hands. Excellent. And who do you sort of attribute that to? What, what's sort of been the difference uh, as far as you getting, uh, you know, that stand-up improved, like you said there? Um, honestly, I was... I think it was my second fight. Um, I was in doing an interview with the promoter, and they were like, "Oh, what's your what's your greatest strength?" And I said, "My grappling." And then the guy that I was supposed to fight was in the same interview, and he goes, "Yeah, this all this kid has is grappling." And it kind of clicked. It kind of clicked with me. So then I was like, "You know what? I'm gonna have to start working on my hands." And that's when I really started to to increase my my striking skills. And as far as the biggest challenge you've had to sort of face this year, would it be this injury right here, you know, trying to cap off uh, the year? You wanted to get three fights in, you only get two? Or is, was there something else you kind of point to? I was, my goal was to, to go pro by January. And that last fight was going to be the fight that takes me pro. And since it didn't happen, it kind of pushes everything back. And, you know, it makes it really tough. So is the plan for your next fight to still do another amateur fight, do you feel like? Or, or do you feel like right now you could go pro? Honestly, right now I can go pro. It it all depends on my 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 instructors. You know, I I trust my, my instructors. If they say I have to do one more amateur fight, you know, then I'm gonna have to suck it up and do one more. But honestly, I feel at my point right now that I can go pro and compete in a pro level. Excellent. Uh, you mentioned uh, your instructors there and everything. Uh, you come from a great gym, Tiger Shulman's. Uh, I mean, it's sort of the who's who uh, in that area. You know, you have uh, Shane Burgos, who recently got signed to the UFC, uh, got a nice win at UFC Albany. You've got Jimmy Rivera, who's in a huge fight coming up here against Brian Caraway. What's the morale like at the gym right now, especially with, uh, you know, Shane getting that win a couple weeks back? It's really good because I was, I grew up with Shane. So me and Shane were, were, were training together. We, you know, hang out together. We would go out. And to see him accomplish so much in such a, a period of time, I feel like I could do that. So I'm, I'm just striving there. We have Jimmy Rivera and um, Lyman Good over there. I can see them in the UFC. Uh, we have Luis Galdino, which he's training with Jimmy all the time. So they're going back and forth. I'm just watching all of them compete. 
it's awesome. Right now, right now it's kind of heated because um, Centella, I don't know if you know Centella. He fights for CFFC. Okay, yeah. He yep. just won the interim title, and Sensei Galdano has the title. Oh, so they're gotcha. going back and forth. They're going back and forth on social media, and they're trying to see who's who's the top dog. Obviously, Galdano is, but he, he still wants to put a two cents in it. For but sure. Yeah. So it's it's getting heated around here. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, never, never uh, easy uh, dealing with a situation like that. Um, talking about 2017 though for you, you mentioned you want to go pro. What's sort of an ideal schedule for you as far as you know being able to fight? How many times do you want to fight in 2017? I want to fight at least three or four times. I, I'm, I'm very active. I want to stay active. If not, I sit around and I get fat. I like to eat a lot of things. So if I if I stay active, if I have an active schedule, it's better for me. But um, I want to as soon as I can, maybe even March. To March, I want to start going pro. I actually, uh, I called out uh, Kevin Ferguson Jr., Kimbo Slice's son, because cause that would be a good introductory fight. And I honestly, I don't feel like he deserves to be where he is right now. Of course, you know, it's the name and Bellator wants big fights, but he doesn't deserve to be there. He doesn't have the credentials. He doesn't have the experience, the time in the gym. So I wanted, I wanted to show Bellator that I can take that away. He's not supposed to be there. You know, I'm not even supposed to be there, but I have a better chance of being there than he does. Well, it's going to be a lot tougher now because he lost his debut with Bellator, so I imagine they're probably going to try and find someone that's not, uh, you know, as talented as yourself. I, I, tr- I hate when people do that. They try to, like, fluff up the fights. If you, if you want to be pro, you're going to fight a pro. You, you, can't, you can't fight, you know... The guy he fought was an 0-1 guy. Like they, they, they wanted him to win, but he wasn't as good to win, you know, that match. But I just, I feel like that would be a good fight to show that Bellator needs to change up their game. They need a, they can't just look for fight fights with names, fighters with names. They need to look for good people to build a brand off of, you know. And I feel like I would, be, I would be one of those people. And, and who, who do you feel like, uh, like, have you sort of mapped out uh, which promotion you want to make your pro debut with yet? Like uh, you mentioned Bellator there, but are, are you kind of talking to promotions as far as, uh, you know, where, when you're going to make your debut and, and for which promotion? We were actually talking to CFFC oh, about I was gonna say. on their card, but that all depends. That all depends on my instructors. But ideally, I would like to get that, that um, Kimbo Slice fight first. Just, a, I don't even mind if it's a one, one fight contract i don't even care i just i don't like people you know going ahead just off of a name like if it was if it was a job interview and i brought my resume and he brought his resume who would get the job that's that's how i feel so i just think it's it's messed up i agree uh what are your plans for the holiday season? And are you gonna? Is it tough? I guess with you know you being injured, you're not gonna be as active. But there's all this food around, uh, you know, the, the Christmas table and everything else. Yeah, I there, here's my game plan. Okay, let's hear it. I'm gonna Christmas Eve and Christmas. I'm going to try not to eat as much, and then New Year's is gonna be my big feast, and then. January 2nd, that's when it goes strict dieting. We're going fight mode. Because you always got to be ready. Stay ready Stay ready, so you don't have to get ready. I, I like it. I like that. Uh, my last question for you here. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Oof. Put Home Alone. The By the way, oh, Home Alone. Excellent. You know, I've been asking a lot of fighters that question. And, like, everyone's, like, stumbled. Like, a lot of people are like, ah, I don't know, whatever. But uh, I would have also accepted Die Hard. But Home Alone is an excellent choice. <laughs> Did you did you see the new Star Wars? I have not seen it yet, uh, but uh, you know I saw kind of the stuff they did online, so I kind of already know what's going to happen. But what are you going to do? Oh, it was it was amazing. It yeah, was it's yeah. got the Matt Matt Roman uh, seal of approval. Yep. Yes, it does. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind and uh, check it out. And uh, we certainly got to check out your next fight. Uh, you and I definitely have to link up before your next fight. I want to wish you a speedy recovery and a happy holidays. Uh, where can people get a hold of you on social media? And if you got any thank yous or shout outs, man, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, so you can find me on Instagram, mromanmma. Twitter is the same thing. You can find me on Facebook, Matthew Roman. Um, I want to thank my dad. He's always there. I want to thank my training partners, um, Louis Galdano, Shane Burgos, 
Jimmy Rivera, they're always there. Lyman Good. I like to thank all the training partners I have in my school that, that go with me every single day. Um, I like to thank my sponsors, 5% Nutrition, uh, S2 Activewear, Fit, uh, Fit with Flavor, they're my nutrition. Um, submit to Fitness and Flow on Wheels to get my cardio up. Um, and I like to thank my girlfriend because she deals with all my shit. <laughs>